Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Samo. I'm a second year medical student currently studying in Russia. And on this channel, I make videos about productivity medicine, which soon will include vlogs. You can tell me what you think about vlogs in the channel if you want to see medical vlogs here. And also, I make videos about fun facts about countries, about um, living good life, and probably literally about anything. So if you love any of these topics or any of these videos and you want to see more content about these videos and you've not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification so that you get to be one of the first people to actually see every video I drop on this channel every single week. Welcome back to the series where we'll be talking about tips to effective learning, tips to actually study effectively. And this is the last episode where we're going to be talking about how to actually focus for long hours or how we can actually focus while we're studying and even though this is probably the last video in this series probably in upcoming videos in the future i'm going to be talking about some similar topics like this but with new touches as i make new researches as i try new methods and everything that works for me of course i'm going to bring on this channel so like i said in this last episode well speaking of which if this is your first video on this series or this is the first video you're watching on this channel on this series then i would actually advise you to watch the three videos that are actually before this series i'm going to be linking the three of these videos up there you should check up there and you see all the three videos if you have actually not watched any of them i'll prefer you to actually watch all of them before you come to watch this last episode because this is just a rounding up and a continuation of what i've been saying before and the way this video is going to be structured today is that first i'm going to quickly be talking about the problem that we face when trying to focus on our studies or when trying to focus for long hours doing a particular tax or reading a particular content and secondly i'm going to be talking about the solution of course how to actually solve these problems and finally i'm going to be concluding this video i'm going to be summarizing the whole video and the whole series so you should keep watching to the end and i'll catch you at the end of the video on to the first part of this video the problems of low focus I would like to first talk about distraction and you said the amazing thing about distraction is that the amount of distraction we are faced with daily is so great to the extent that sometimes when we are already getting distracted while we are particularly doing a task we don't even know it we are so used to distraction these days and that is why today i would love to actually talk about what actually is distraction and according to wikipedia distraction is just anything that actually take away our concentration from another thing or anything that reduces our attention from another thing so you might love to think of it as reading taking your attention off gaming so reading could actually be a distraction to gaming or gaming could be a distraction to reading or scrolling through your instagram scrolling through your tiktok or going through your whatsapp while reading can actually be a distraction and solution to this problem i'll get to in a short while now for the second problem of this video the second problem of low focus that i would love to talk about is wrong timing trying to do a particular task or trying to study a particular content at the wrong time and the reason why i probably love to talk about this is because i am accustomed or i love to read at a particular time and we also probably have a particular time we love to read and the problem is that when we try to study at times we're not accustomed to or times that are different from this time we're accustomed to it's possible that it's hard for us to actually get focused now don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's impossible for us to read at these wrong times but i'm just trying to say that sometimes trying to read at these periods that we are not used to may be hard for us and probably may have effect on our focus for me i love to actually study in the nights like from 10 11 12 pm till early morning like 3 4 5 and this is so because first my school is online currently because we're in quarantine and i could actually still sleep in the morning because i actually love studying during the night so reading during the day could actually be a very big problem for me and the solution to this we're also going to get to it in a second finally on the problems i feel like this is probably one of the biggest problems we face that this is the one of the problems that actually bet other problems and the problem is us not having fun while we are studying or us not being interested actually in what we are studying i feel like if we are not really interested or we don't love what we are studying or we are not so engulfed in what we are studying then we will easily be distracted and as a result of being easily distracted we would actually have low focus or low concentration on what we are doing so we've been able to establish the problems of low focus first is that we are easily distracted or there is a lot of distraction and three we talked about actually not having fun when we are studying or not being interested in or what so the first step to actually solving the problem of low focus is actually 
setting a goal. Let me use myself as an example and paint a whole process for us. Let's say I wake up in the morning after my booting and praying and all of that, I decide to set some goals for the whole day. Some people love to do this the night before and of course that is very very perfect but I love to do it in the morning after I wake up. So I wake up and then I start to talk about what I actually have to do that day. Maybe let's say I want to study, of course not histology this time. Someone say I love histology so much and I'm talking about it always but now let's say today I want to study physiology, I want to exercise, I want to call my parents, I want to catch up with some of my old friends. What I do is that in that morning I set the goal and the next step to actually solving the problem of low focus is having a timetable or a virtual time to these tasks that we plan to do during the day. So I could actually say histology <laughs> actually say physiology for me that particular day would be around 5 to 7 p.m exercise would be around 3 to 4 p.m and calling my parents will probably be in the night and one thing about this timetable is that is either we are actually rigid or we are very very flexible but i would advise that we are flexible with it and just have the time mentally so that this might actually come out and we may not be able to follow this time strictly so we don't have to be sad or beat ourselves up to it so we just have a mental time or a mental picture of how we want our day to be now after we've actually set this timetable or have the timetable in our head the next thing is to learn to say no and this will bring me to the solution of distraction that i talked about in the first place when we are actually trying to study how to actually solve distraction and the solution i'll be talking about is using the pomodoro technique now what the pomodoro technique is all about is that we have periodic breaks after some hours of core study or core time of performing a particular task. The main aim of this thought process is for us to learn to say no during the core time that we are using to study. So let's say I decide to study for 45 minutes and then I decide to take a break of 5 minutes. So during that 45 minutes, anything comes up, I'll literally say no to it until my break time. Friend comes, we actually negotiate and say, okay, can I actually do this thing during my break time or can you actually wait till my break time so we learn to actually say no during that time of our course study and the way i do this sometimes is that even distraction from my phone i love to put my phone on airplane mode now that i use rain sounds to study to use youtube to play the rain sounds and i have my airpods in and then i'm using the rain sounds and if i try to leave the app the ring sound stops and I consider it as a break in my section and that section was actually not successful. So I try as much as possible to resist every urge to actually go out of the YouTube app or answer anybody during that particular period of course study. Now coming to the solution of the second problem where we talked about wrong timing. I like the obvious and funny solution is that don't study at the wrong time, just study at the right time. So just wait till the right time to study. And for me, I believe if there's actually very much need for us to study at the time that we're not actually used to, I feel like then we consider the distractions we get at these times and solve them one by one. If your distraction is going to be your phone, I believe that you could actually put the phone away and not use the phone at all or put the phone on airplane mode or something like that. If the distraction is going to be friends, I feel like we can actually negotiate with our friends around at this particular time I'm using to study. Please do not come to disturb me. Tell me what you think in the comment section if you have actually adapted to something like this before. Now finally on the solution, we're coming to actually the mother of all the problems, making what we're studying fun. Because I believe if we're not actually studying something, if it is not fun for us, we can actually get bored easily and get distracted easily. And I feel like making this um, studying or what we're doing fun can come in different ways. Number one solution to the problem of not having fun while studying is to make it very, very variable. So it's not like we're just doing the same thing all over all over all over again we might actually get bored of doing the same thing all over again and what do i mean for me sometimes i love to start studying by first checking the questions that i'm going to need to answer after studying so i go into my study with some questions in my heart or in my brain that i need answers to so as i'm studying i'm probably very very concentrated and looking for answers to the questions that are already in my head or in my heart the importance of this is that when we actually not have fun when studying, we're just hurting ourselves and just doing ourselves harm. Learning is actually meant to be enjoyed, not injured. So we should find ways to actually incorporate things into our study techniques that will actually make the whole process interesting and fun for us to learn. That's been it guys, that's been it on a series of tips to actually study effectively. And the importance of this whole thing is for us to have knowledge of what goes into learning and how can we actually learn effectively in the first episode we talked about understanding and the importance of understanding why we really have to understand 
and how to understand there we talked about Fermat's principle active recall and all of that in the second episode i talked about retrospective timetable space repetition and active recall once again explaining how we can actually remember what we've studied over a particular period of time and lastly in this video we talked about how to actually focus for long hours and how to focus while we're studying that's been it guys let me know what you think about this series in the comment section below of course and of course if there's any other series you would like me to start please 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 i would love you to actually drop it down in the comment section below and most probably you're seeing two videos here that you probably have not watched or the subscribe here that you have not subscribed to please make sure to watch any of these videos or subscribe to the channel if you haven't so either way that's been it thank you guys for watching and catch you guys in the next one peace